and in a concerted effort to address the ongoing diphtheria outbreak and enhance routine immunization, the federal government of Nigeria has announced plans to introduce human papilloma virus vaccines on October 24th this year. The initiative aims not only to bolster routine immunization, but to also protect Nigerians from human papilloma viruses, which can contribute to cervical cancer. The coordinated Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Ali Pat, alongside the Executive Director of National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Fasha Shwayub, emphasized the crucial role traditional leaders play in disseminating information about the vaccine through community channels. Captain TV's Benedict Uku has more in this report. On Wednesday in Abuja, the Coordinating Ministry of Health and Social Welfare, in collaboration with the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, engaged Northern Traditional Leaders Committee on its quarterly review meeting on primary health care delivery. The imminent introduction of the human papilloma virus, HPV vaccine, and the ongoing diphtheria outbreak was top discussion. The diphtheria outbreak particularly centered in Kano, extending to 19 states and the Federal Capital Territory has raised concern over the impact on children aged 1 to 14 years. Speaking at the event, the Coordinating Minister Ali Pate underscored the importance of the upcoming introduction of HPV vaccines, highlighting their potential to prevent certain types of cancer and contribute to public health. The engagement with traditional leaders is seen as vital in ensuring the success of the vaccination program. Beyond the diphtheria outbreak, uh, the fact is that vaccines work and 98% of children who have diphtheria have not been vaccinated. So uh, if we can stop this outbreak, we can also see the need to uh, expand routine immunization so that we should not have uh, children that have not been vaccinated, zero dose children. We should reduce them to a minimum. Uh, in addition, the federal government working through MPHCDA and other development partners is going to introduce a vaccine to prevent cervical cancer, which is a major cause of mortality, morbidity, disease and death among uh, women. So that vaccine would be launched uh, on the 24th of October. Uh, it's a national launch with the first phase among uh, first 16 states in our country. And then the second batch will be in the first quarter of next year. So our traditional leaders will need to understand that and will be able to communicate also to the communities. As you know, there are more than 100,000 uh, traditional leaders across different levels just in the northern states and there is no part of Nigeria that does not have traditional leaders. So we're expanding this effort so that we involve traditional leaders all across Nigeria in the issues relating to health. Speaking virtually, the Executive Director of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency, Faisal Schwab, commended the remarkable progress made in the fight against polio in Nigeria. He urged the traditional leaders to intensify community mobilization, raise public awareness, and foster acceptance of vaccination services. Scientifically proving to prevent certain types of cancer, the inclusion of HPV vaccines in our vaccination program promises to bestow immeasurable benefits upon public health. However, the introduction of the vaccine is only one prong out of a three-pronged approach to eliminating HPV and reduce the morbidity and mortality from cervical cancer. This has been carefully articulated in the 90%, 70%, and 90% targets. Uh, for elimination of cervical cancer, making sure that we reach at least 90% of our girls with the vaccine. Also speaking, the Sultan of Sokoto, Saad Abu Bakar, also emphasized the necessity of routine immunization, especially in the context of the diphtheria outbreak. I want to thank the chairman and all the members of this committee for what you have been doing. We will carry out the job we placed on your shoulders without even complaining, without even saying anything uh, negative about it, but always happy and very happy and willing to come and serve this community, our people, and this country. We will thank the members of this community and urge you to double our efforts, and inshallah, we will, at the end of all things, be successful in whatever we put our hands.
The representative of the World Health Organization spoke about the collaboration at the community level between the traditional leaders in the fight against communicable disease. This calls to resonate with the current situation in Nigeria and requires more sacrifices for all leaders from the village level upwards to protect, secure and preserve the health of our communities. The engagement reflects a coordinated approach to public health challenges, leveraging traditional leadership structures for effective community outreach and awareness.